Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to be going over how to make your Ubuntu or Cinnamon desktop environment look like Windows XP. That's why there's the uh, little XP here. But anyway, uh, but, but don't, forget to hit the, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. So you're probably wondering, why do I want my desktop to look like Windows XP? Here's a better question for you. Why? Wouldn't you want to make your desktop environment look like Windows XP? Why not? So as we can see here, this is the pressure in the stalker that goes, hey look, connect your online accounts. Here's your first report. Don't don't ask how many virtual machines I have. <laughs> I spent literally hours trying to get this to work. Turns out it was just a file name issue. Because of course it was. Anyway. Here we have our regular old jammy jellyfish. As we can see here, as we can see, I don't even have any effects installed. This is a absolutely raw, uh, but absolutely raw version of Ubuntu. As we can see here, not even Git installed, which I probably should have done already. So what we're doing here is I'm just getting uh, Git in downloaded and installed. No bother. So, to get what we need to get, we are going to need my repository that I've made for this video in particular. It is called Ubuntu XP, but it will work for anything that is Cinnamon, de uh, cinnamon Desktop Environment. You can go away, uh, Desktop um, Updater. So, first thing we need to do is get clone https colon forward slash forward slash github.com slash nmap1 slash Ubuntu. XP. Hope I can spell Ubuntu. I will stick this link in the description, as I always do. I, I can't place cards up in the top right hand corner because I'm apparently not big enough or popular enough to get links to external sites. According to YouTube, anyway. So we want to do CD Ubuntu XP. Now, I'm just going to open this in nano first to show you. So we want to do nano install.sh. This is all it does. It updates and upgrades, it uh, adds the repository universe, which is for the cinnamon install. The attack Y says, hey, look, just do it, please. I know what I'm doing. This installs cinnamon desktop environment with the light desktop manager, and it unzips the files and moves it all into the correct place. Now, because I don't want to go through, an, uh, go through the upgrade process, I'm going to remove this because holy hell did I, uh, I'm not sitting through the upgrade process for the set fifth or sixth time tonight, today, even. You will need to change the XP part here, 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 and here for your own install, because that's just the use I've made for the system. I've made it here, so you will need to change it. That's kind of a gift, but I've just removed the upgrade, so we want to do uh, Control X, Y, Enter. To make it usable, we need to do CH mod. Plus X, uh, install.sh. Now that it's now that it's executable, we need to do dot slash install.sh. Now what this is going to do, it's going to update the system. I really should have removed that to begin with, but hey ho. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Unfortunately, no one saw that year coming, so that's that's fine, I guess. So this is just going to go through the process of getting the updates. Uh, the reason why I included an update upgrade, it's just, it's just easier really. So what this is doing is it's getting the Cinnamon desktop environment, which has just gone through and said, hey look, I can do these things you want me to. And then we're going to hit yes. Either it's doing the Cinnamon uh, environment or just uh, downloading the updates, which are a lot of, a lot of them. I so it should not take nine minutes. It shouldn't take nine minutes to download all of these updates. And it shouldn't be downloading at two megabytes a second. Not even two megabytes a second. I have a gigabyte symmetrical. It should not take nine or ten minutes. So anyway, so all, all we have to do is just sit and wait. Now... I will actually open up my Git report, uh, my GitHub to actually show you what it looks like on GitHub. 
Now I, I went through so, like four or five hours worth of pain just trying to figure out what was going wrong. Turns out it was just a folder name. That was it. That was all it was. I'll go into the XP. So yeah, because for some reason the Cinnamon Desktop Environment didn't like the folder name being Windows hyphen XP hyphen icons, it had to be Windows hyphen XP hyphen 3.1. I wanted to shoot myself. As we can see here, I forgot how to copy. Copy, correct view, and here's the icons. So I go over what this looks like, uh, because from what I'm understanding, uh, Cinnamon is GTK, although you can correct me. Uh, this should work with any GTK environment, which would be very nice. So I just go over the process of here saying, here's what I'm doing, here's how to do it, and, and such. If you have come here, thank you. And uh, you will find a little surprise in uh, one of the change logs uh, for these files. You find, you'll find a little surprise in the description, so uh, I'll let you root that out. But yeah, this is... I have gone through... 10, 11 clones, maybe 13, just setting it up and getting it prepared for now because I, I just so much head banging in the wall, it, it genuinely made me want to just get a knife. So, as I found with the setting it up, it's not as just clear cut as saying, Oh, look, I'll just move the folder containing the desktop type themes where it sorts out the bottom bar like makes it a little more fancy no it's not just easy as uh, dumping a folder containing the other folders no you need to move the desktop folders themselves into the necessary place as i unfortunately found out after many hours of going head in keyboard going why does this not want to work Genuinely so much pain. See, I also don't see why this here it should not be downloading at two kilobytes. So it it just doesn't it is what it is, but I'm just guessing it's a mirror issue. Which is entirely possible. So it is what it is unfortunately. So, all it is is just it's just down, going through the updates. It takes it's faster, I, I swear, to get the cinnamon desktop environment and get that all set up. It really is. I shouldn't have gone on the update. However, it's always it's always a good idea to update your system before you install any new software, so you don't have to go through the torture of making sure everything's set correctly. So now we just need to wait for this to finish off. So it's just just sitting waiting. So what I'm going to do is just. Oh hello. I was about to say I'll stop recording and wait. But no, um, I'll stop recording and wait, and I'll come back when we're done. Okay, so as you can see here, we're now back. It's just gone through and done the updates and installing. So when it says, "Hey, look." What do you want to do? Do you want to do GDM3 or Light DM? For the love of God, select Light DM. Do nothing else but select Light DM. Okay, listen to the words that are coming into your ears and out of my mouth. Select nothing but Light DM. Okay? Okay, just wanted to make sure that we were on the same page and you were you heard what I said because I don't know if it would work with uh, I can't I already can't remember the other one however I know that what I've done works with light DM I have spent the past three to five hours figuring this out I guarantee you it will work with light dm as you will see because that's what i'll show you but it will work with 
light DM. So, uh, unfortunately, we just got to go through the process of waiting for this to be done, and it's, it's just unpacking and sorting itself out. You think with a ho system host RAM of uh, 32 gigs and a virtual machine of 8, it would run a bit faster. However, apparently, I'm wrong. Honestly, I just prefer Manjaro myself. Uh, that's what I have installed bare metal on my system. Yes, I'm recording this on a Windows system. However, I use both Windows and Linux because, frankly, that I, I don't care what, what people say. I, I like what I like what I like. I like what I like. That's the main thing. As we can see here, it's just got to finish processing the triggers, and you're probably wondering what the fuck just happened. So that has just gone and unzipped. All of the files, both of the zips, and that has way more than the entire list I've just gone through. It's way more than the updates, and it's just done in seconds. Um, don't know what you're talking about there, Ubuntu. Anyway, so let's have a look at what it did. So we're now we're in home. We need to have a look at the show hidden files so here we can see an icons which i said would be there and a themes so i'll show you where the issue is in a moment so currently this is what we have we have a icons and we have a themes now we've got all of this once the scripts run all you need to do is just log out that is it you log out I said, you log out, Ubuntu, come on. I, I know you're not that bad or slow. Thank you. Select the profile. Come down to this bottom right-hand corner here. Select Cinnamon. Type in your password. In this case, to me, it's just XP. This virtual machine, I'm getting rid of all of the XP, the XP virtual machines that I made in preparation for this video. Because I went through so much. Now, this is what you will, you will be presented with, as you can see here. We still have our Ubuntu XP, and this is what it currently looks like. So what we need to do is we need to go to Home, we need to go to View, and we need to do Show Hidden Files. We'll maximize this, and we can currently look at Themes. This is what we have here. If I type in Themes, we can see we have our XP icons. Things are already starting to look nice. But where are our desktops? Where are our control buttons? Where are our window borders? Where is any of that? It doesn't like being nested. I can't tell you why. So all we need to do is just copy, come here, and paste. Give, it, give this couple seconds to catch itself back up. And what do you know? In this case, I'm going to use Windows XP Luna because, in my opinion, it's it's the it's the it's the best. It's the one I remember the most, and God was it nice. And here we are. This is Windows. This is this is this is Windows Ubuntu or Ubuntu XP. I'm going to call it Ubuntu XP. Honestly, it's fantastic. I, I have had no issue with it whatsoever. It just works. There's no bothers. I, the, all of these icons are correct and, and exactly what they did. It's just wonderful. It, it's like I remember it. So this is how you get it. Now, it doesn't, up, it doesn't update the background here. No, a bunch of I don't care. It doesn't upgrade, up, update this one. You have to manually set it yourself. However, this is what it looks like. And now I will take you to the Git repository, or my GitHub repository, where this was. So it'd be github dot com slash that one slash Ubuntu XP. And there we go. It's just as simple as this. This does work. This is the one I have downloaded, and you've watched me do. This will work without fail. As you watched it. Yes, there have been 17 comments in the past since I've created this. 
<laughs> yeah. It's been hell. Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. Uh, give that notification bell a good old ring. And uh, hit the like if you like it. Dislike if you dislike. Both of those buttons work. I see both of them. You might not, depending on if you have the uh, uh, YouTube dislike uh, plug-in for your browser. Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Uh, I have been Nick. You have been amazing. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.